What is up YouTube? This is Trey, back at it again. And uh, today's video, I had a clutch that just hatched. Um, so we're gonna be looking at that and we're gonna also be looking at the pairings that I'm gonna be uh, starting to put together this year. Um, we have a lot of cool, exciting stuff. So we're gonna start off with uh, checking out the clutch that just hatched. And it also shed, it didn't just hatch, it hatched about a week ago. But uh, yeah, let's get started. So we're gonna start by showing you, or I'm gonna start by showing you the pairing. The male was this Killer Blade Banana Clown male, and he was bred to a Champagne female. But you'll see something that's pretty interesting between the uh, the female and the babies, um, and I'll show you quick. So she's in shed, but this is that female champagne. This was the mother. But just notice, you know, I know a lot of champagnes have wacky patterns. She always had this really cool little ringer. I don't know if it's focusing that good on her. And you could see that a lot with some of the babies. So um, yeah, without further ado, we're gonna check out these babies. So we're gonna start off with the least exciting um, snake from that clutch. And that's just gonna be an ordinary pastel, 100% head clown, male. And so everything in this clutch is gonna be pastel and head clown, because the male, the father, is a super pastel blade clown. So everything's gonna be pastel and 100% head clown. So this is the first male. Second male that we have is a what I believe to be a pastel champagne 100% head clown male. Now I'm not too familiar with the uh, working with champagne and banana. I don't think this has banana. I think it would be a lot more yellow. It's definitely, the I don't know if the camera's really picking it up. It has a lot of yellow and some purple. So with a couple more sheds, we'll find out. But I think just how dark it is, I think this one is just a pastel champagne hat clown. I think I only hit one banana. Again, I'm not too familiar with the banana champagnes, but I think they would be a lot more yellow. So these are all just pastel champagne hat clowns. This one's a little female. I produced three of these. They don't really want to cooperate, but they're a little... They're adorable though. So that's a female. The other female is, one, is my hold back that I'm gonna keep this year and she is absolutely a ripper. She's insane. The, and the, again, I'm sorry, the camera is not picking up their colors, but look at her. Really happy, happy I produced this girl. And she's 100% head clown, so I have some cool plans with these. I really want to put Enchi in it because Enchi and Champagne really brings out that pattern a little bit. And then add the clown in there, I think it's going to look really, really good. Champagne's a very, it's a dominant mutation. It's very, it's a very strong gene, kind of like Pinstripe in the sense that they carry, like, I don't know how to really explain it. But they're, it's like a very strong presence in the animal, whatever you mix it to, the champagne will always overpower it. So, and you can kind of see that, I have another female I'll show you. And you can kind of see what I'm talking about. This is a pastel Mojave champagne. And you just see how that champagne just takes over both of those genes. So, um, that's what I mean by a really like powerful gene. Is no matter what you put it to, the champagne overpowers it. And I feel like champ, uh, Enchi inside champagne brings in a little bit more pattern and makes it a little interesting. The last snake from that clutch was a female pastel banana. Really nice female. She's a hold back as well. Really cool little girl. 
have some plans for her in the future. But yeah, so those are all the babies that I just produced. Um, and this year I just have a lot of cool ideas and breeding plans. So I have them all written down. I'm gonna show you the males and what females are gonna be paired to. And uh, yeah, we'll get into that right now. So we're gonna start off, and I have the piece of paper here with my breeding plans. We're gonna start off with the males and I'll show you each female it's gonna go to. So the first male we have right here is, he's actually in shed, so his colors are nowhere near as good. And some of them are gonna be later in the season as well because they're still putting on some size. This guy actually just hit breeding size. This right here is a black pasta Mojave 100% double het desert ghost VPI exanthic 66% possible het pied. So this is a pretty powerhouse male, especially if it proves out het pied. And a couple of the females I have him going to, and I'll show you, is uh, this Mojave female. So he's going to this Mojave female. This is one of the females. Just basically to make more possible heads and I also want to make some Blue Eye Lucy's um, that are also possible head DG and BPI Exanthic to make some holdbacks. I know it's a long shot, especially if you're dealing with possible heads, but I think that would be pretty exciting. And who doesn't like some blue eye leucistics? Let me see, he's also going to, I have him here somewhere. He's also going to the champagne, which was the mother to this clutch. I feel like if we bring in the, especially the Mojave and the black pastel into champagne and they're possibly, possibly gonna be het, DG, and VPI exanthic, I think that would be pretty cool. Um, Again, I know I showed her not too long ago, but I'll pull her out again. She's really awesome. I really like this female. I believe that's the only two snakes that he's going to this year. Yeah. So those are the only two females he's going to this year. Um, another the mad. Another male I have is that banana killer blade clown, which was the father. He's going to a spider het hypo, and he's also going to a pastel het clown. So I'll show you the spider het hypo. She's a little cantankerous. She could be, oh, and she poops. Come on, girl. So this is that spider het hypo. I'm trying to kind of stay away from spider. I'm just doing this breeding one more time and then I'm probably gonna get rid of this female. But this is that spider het hypo. And then the other female he's going to is just a pastel het clown. She was actually bull wrapping, so which is nice. It's a good sign. This is that pastel het clown. And those are the only two that he's going to. Now, all the other pairings are really exciting. Those I wasn't as excited about. They kind of want to make a couple of banana clowns. And the to the spider, that's going to be a lot more just to sell as pets to new people, not so much breeders and investment animals. But the rest of my pairings I have this year are all going to be really nice investment animals. So we're going to start off with this male. We'll start off with the pastel, het cl uh, pastel Enchi Clown male that I have. So this is him. He just hit about 500 grams. Now you'll see some of these males are a little small. They're not going probably right now. I kind of breed all year round and it seems to be doing good uh, with me. So he just hit 500 grams. He's been going through some of the females, but some of these males that you'll see are like right at that 400 gram mark that they're almost breeder but this male is going to my female pinstripe and this is a big girl too so he's going to be going to this female pinstripe right here really nice female just normal pinstripe and the goal for this is until I 
buy or find like a pinstripe clown or something. I really want to make Enchi pinstripes het clowns and hopefully in the long run produce a super Enchi pinstripe clown. I don't remember I if it's been done, but the pinstripe clown really reduces, it brings out the pinstripe patterning in the clown, but really reduces it and gives it almost like black dots. And I feel like the super entry will reduce it even more and make for a really nice looking snake. So that's the goal on that pairing. So I'm breeding him to that. I'm also, that might be all I'm breeding him to this year. I think, yeah. That's all I'm breeding him to this year. The next three males are real bangers. They're awesome. We're gonna start with this guy right here. And he's a little small. He's not ready to breed right now, maybe another three months. But this right here is an Enchi Exanthic Pied. VPI, VPI Exanthic. I'm trying to see if it focuses, there we go. Really nice male. I'm super excited for what he's going to. He's going to a pastel clown. Right here. So he's going to this female, which is a pastel clown. And obviously the goal is to make Enchi's, pastel Enchi's that are triple het clown exanthic pies. So that is gonna be awesome. Really excited about that. He's also going to, let me see. Where are you? I think that might be the only snake he's going to. I thought I had him to more females, but I don't think I do. That's all he's going to. I mean, I'm, that's a really good pairing though. I'm really excited about that. So the next snake I have on the list is a, and this guy is absolutely phenomenal. This is probably one of my favorite males I have. This is a pinstripe desert ghost. Oh, I absolutely love this male. And this male is going to, the first female he's going to is, but I have a normal clown female. She's not quite up to size. She's about a thousand grams. I like them to be around 1500 grams to start breeding. But hopefully by the end of, end of this year, she'll be up to breeding. So he's gonna go to her and the, obviously the hope is to make some double hat desert ghost clown stuff. So that's gonna be really cool. He's also going to a, the Pastavi Champagne, which I showed earlier. And I absolutely love Desert Ghost Mojaves. Those are probably one of my favorite combos. And Pastel and Desert Ghost is pretty much a must as well. It really brightens the Pastel. And uh, so both of those plus the Champagne is gonna look pretty sick in Desert Ghost. Really excited about that. And the last female that He's going to this year is this amazing GHI yellow belly, and she's right around a thousand grams as well. So she's not quite to breeding size yet, but hopefully by the end of this year. And you know, the darkness of the GHI and the clean, and you know, the yellow belly clan cleans it up and brightens it up a little bit with DG and pinstripe. This is going to be amazing. And again, this is long term plans. That's not het desert ghost but I wanna get the hats in order to make that in the future. The last male I have going this season is my, where are you? Here we go. And he's still a little small, so hopefully by the end of this year. This right here is a Orange Dream Fire Leopard Clown 66% Het Pod. Well, again, one of my favorite males. I don't know if it beats the, de it definitely beats the Desert Ghost in genetics, but I just love how that Desert Ghost looks. It's absolutely amazing, I've fallen in love. Clowns used to be my favorite gene, but it's now starting to go to Desert Ghost. And he's going to a ton of females this year. He's going to this Enchi Spot Nose. He's 
He's going to this Enchi Spot Nose Hidden Gene Woma. Female, she's right around 1,200 grams, but she is definitely a slow grower. So she's probably, I'm gonna try to put her this year. Hopefully if I get a little bit more weight on her, but I've had her, she eats like a beast. But I've had her for about a year and a half now, two years, and she just doesn't wanna put on any more weight. She's a little feisty too, but. So we're gonna see how it goes this year. Hopefully, trying introducing a male will probably hopefully get her more on food and grow just a little bit more. But again, we'll see. The next female he's going to is the genetic stripe. And she's on the smaller side, so hopefully by the end of this year, she'll be ready to go. This is just my normal genetic stripe, and one of my favorite snakes by far is a genetic stripe clown. I so want to make one so bad. So I'm trying to make the double hats in order to achieve that. And then the last snake that he's going to, I believe, is that one. is this female right here. It's an Enchi Orange Dream possible het pie. And I think that's about it. So hopefully he proves out het pie and I can make some really nice super OD leopard fire pies that uh, Enchi's as well. They'll be Enchi super OD leopard fire pies. Uh, Heck clowns. Now that's a huge stretch, but you know, hopefully, you know, hopefully I get lucky. But, um, but yeah, so that's my breeding plans for this year. Those were some of the babies. Um, if you guys want anything, uh, snake wise, I have a morph market. If you guys want to purchase anything, you can check me out and you could go to my Instagram at Poeras Pythons and the link to my morph market is there as well. Um, but yeah, but I've been thinking, I'm starting to do these videos. I kind of want to keep it going, the channel, and bring you guys more content and, you know, show my collection, show other people's collection, maybe do some herping out there. I live in Florida, so we have a ton of great herping. But I kind of want, you know, to show more and more people and share the love of reptiles that I have. So please, guys, share, subscribe, like this video as well. And um, the next video I'm going to talk about probably a giveaway that we're going to be having. And it's, I'm still thinking about it. I'm probably going to give away a snake. And um, I'm not sure which one yet. But it'll probably be a snake. And we'll probably start the first giveaway at like 500 subscribers. And it will be and then after we'll do like 1,000 subscribers, another giveaway. And then 2,500, then 5,000 until we get to about 10,000. I kind of want to do a giveaway. Kind of thinking about it. The first one is for sure going to probably be 500 subscribers. Once we hit that, I'll do a giveaway. I'm not sure if it's going to be a snake. It's probably going to be a snake. If not, it's going to be um, some sort of merch or something. But next video, we'll talk more about that and I'll have some things finalized. But yeah, like, subscribe, do all that. Share it to as many of your friends. And if we could get to 500 subscribers, we'll do a giveaway. So I appreciate you guys watching. Um, yeah, just follow your passion. My passion is ball pythons, and I've been, or reptiles in general, and animals in general, I should say. And yeah, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate you guys showing the love. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.